very overpowered team. I absolutely love it and it's one of my favourite teams on the game. However, I cannot pronounce any of the names in the squad. I can maybe pronounce two or three. So I'm just going to apologise for butchering all of the names straight away. What I've done is I've built this team on Foothead. So you can go over there, have a look at the players and their details and pick them up. And whether you can pronounce the names or not, they're all absolute bargains and they're all very, very good players. So in goal, we have got Kuchiak. I have no idea how to pronounce his name. <clears throat> he plays for Warzawa, maybe? He's Slovakian. He plays in the Polish League. Go and pick him up. My one gets eight chemistry because I've got him in an orange formation because there was none in this formation when I was building the team. But he is a very, very solid keeper and I'm sure it'll be even better with nine chemistry. He's got 75 diving and 74 reflexes, 75 positioning. So he's a very, very good shot stopper. At centre-back, we have got Arbolada. He is Colombian and he is fast as hell. Very, very strong. Got really good heading. He's very tall and his defending is pretty good at 67 too. We pair him up with Sula, I think his name is. He plays for... Who does he play for? Where does it tell me this? Warzawa again. So he gets a strong link with the goalie, which is why he gets 8 chemistry. It says he's getting 5 there, but he actually gets 8. I have no idea what it's on about. There we go. Stupid FIFA. So, again, this guy is very quick. He's got 75 pace, 69 defending, and 71 heading. So, they're only 68 rated, but they are two very, very solid silver centre-backs. At right-back, we've got Kikut, who is an absolutely ugly bastard. But he gets 81 pace, so you just defence right-backs and the left-back as well, as you will now see. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. The pair of them are very, very quick with reasonable defending. Pretty decent dribbling and the passing is okay as well to get the ball out of defence, so you can't complain. A very, very solid defence, not a very high rated defence, but it does the job and you are only playing against silver teams and most of them are the Brazilian silver teams. So once you learn that all they try to do is one twos and chips over the top, it is very, very easy to play against. At centre mid, the first one we've got is a guy whose name I can actually pronounce and it is Wilk. He's one of my favourite players in the team and he only cost me 150 coins. He's very, very good at tracking back. And he's got five star weak foot so you can smash them long shots with either foot pair him up with another person whose name i cannot pronounce really really sorry about this but what can you do i don't speak polish and regardless of that the important thing is showing you guys the players so you can go out and pick them up and build this overpowered as hell team he's got 70 defending and 75 heading so he's very very good on the defensive side of things which is good to just sit in front of the defense and block off all our attacks and break up the play Centre forward is probably one of the weakest players in the team, so if there's any other decent ones, you may be, may be good to go and try them out and maybe swap them in and out a bit. He scored three goals in nine games, which I suppose isn't too bad for someone who cost me 700 coins, but he hasn't really stood out for me at all, unlike this guy who is playing centre attack in mid, and that is Traore. He is left-footed, so he cuts in and bangs in them goals. He scored six goals in nine games. I bought him for 550 coins, and he's got 92 pace, which is just unreal. He is probably my third favourite player in the team, behind the striker, who is second, and this is Piech. He's an absolute pace demon. He has scored 11 goals in nine games for 1,000 coins. This whole team's an absolute bargain. The whole team cost me under 10 grand, and I've beat some very, very good teams. You'll see an absolute screamer that I scored against Atsuroz, who... Go and vote for him in Battle of the YouTubers. If you haven't already, he's in the semi-final against KGT. So I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. But you'll see an absolute screamer that I scored against him with this guy who is my favourite player in the team. It is Melixon. He cost me 400 coins. He scored eight goals in nine games. He's got four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. He's so fast and he's got absolutely insane dribbling. So you can see there is the team. I'm just going to carry on talking a little bit. Just basically telling you guys that if you don't go out and pick up everyone, make sure you go and pick up Melixon, whose goal you can see on the screen now. It is absolutely unreal. And there's just so many other good players in this team. PH especially, and Traore, and then the defence is very, very solid. Even if you somehow hybrid them, hybrided them in to maybe a Colombian defence with, what was his name again? It was Arbeleda. So you could maybe mix it up a bit, turn it into a bit of a hybrid team with some Colombian players in. I don't really know. Do what you want with it, but just make sure you have Tiore, Melixon, and Piech in it. The defence and the midfield are solid anyway, but if you do wish to go and change them up, make sure you keep them three players. They are very, very good players. Melixon in particular. I absolutely love the guy. 
But anyway, lads, that is going to be the end of the squad builder. I haven't really got too much to say about them, apart from the fact that they're all very, very good. As I mentioned, go and vote for Atsy in Battle of the YouTubers, if you're watching this while the Battle of the YouTubers is still live. Go and check out the squad on Footheads, because I know it butchers all these players' names, but you can see the details of them there. You can build the squad and pick them up. Give it a cheeky little thumbs up while you're there, and help me get back to the top squad of the day. I am boss on Foothead at the moment, and I would love to keep it that way. It's getting me some great exposure and brilliant growth. So, yeah, thanks for watching, lads. Give this video a like, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you next time.